Okay, but I do have to. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to turn on the microphone. Uh, sorry, thank you for coming. The today's uh, 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 new uh, uh, Open Source Asia Summit Day Two, and uh, also the mini mini conference uh, to twenty uh, seventeen Japan. And so I, uh, I, I want to say a lot of thanks to the uh, Open Source Asia Committee to uh, have a sub event, uh, to let us a sub, uh, have a sub event for the Open uh, Liberal, uh, Liberal Office. If, uh, it, uh, Liberal Office is, of course, the uh, uh, most important, one of the most important part of the Open Source. So it was very happy to collaborate. Uh, uh, thanks. And, uh, <coughs> So we prepared some program about the uh, so Libre Office all this whole day. Uh, my, this is first is my talk about the uh, uh, Libre Office itself. Uh, this is the best uh, point uh, for the uh, sorry, uh, product side and the project side. Uh, then uh, Franklin went uh, to talk about the uh, so file format. Uh, it's a very interesting so IDE. And uh, thirdly, so, so Shinji Enoki has a so CJK issue about this. And uh, then uh, uh, Lin Nakamura talk about the Japan, uh, Excel Hogashi in Japanese. Uh, Hogashi means uh, so, uh, grid layout uh, sheet, grid sheet. Uh, it's uh, so also interesting. But these two sessions are in Japanese, sorry. And uh, uh, after the tea break, uh, we moved to the room one, uh, first uh, downstairs, and uh, so uh, and uh, some um, text writing tips and uh, interesting text writing tips and uh, building a review of the step in your desktop. Okay, uh, so I want to um, try the what is the mini conference uh, about this. So mini conference means uh, so review of Development itself has a, uh, as a open source does, uh, we also have a so, global conference in Europe. So this year is in Rome. But uh, it's uh, quite hard to join the uh, most many, uh, early uh, Asian people. So we want to uh, uh, have a good opportunity to gather the uh, neighborhoods. So, <laughs> I, uh, that's why I do the, this many times in a uh, mini conference. So I hope someone will continue mini conference uh, in Asia. And uh, so we have uh, so another conference, Review of Spike, like this. So Review <laughs> of Spike is also for Japanese speakers and by Japanese speakers even. And so, okay, so I will start the Review of uh, my, it, it's a so introduction of the mini conference. So it, I will start my talk, the review office, the office seat with mixing both culture. <laughs> so I introduced myself. I'm Narihiko Naru Ogasara. So someone, someone can read the kanji character. So in Japanese style, so Ogasawara Narihiko. Yeah, in Japanese, so we write the a family name to uh, give name. <laughs> so, Wasara is uh, my family name, and uh, Narushiko is a uh, given name. And uh, then of the Libre Office Japanese team, uh, Libre Office uh, Native Language Project in Japan, and also the Document Foundation member. And uh, maybe I do the UI help translation uh, coordinator. And, okay, so I want to. Everyone knows the Libre Office itself. Someone doesn't? No? Okay. Okay, so Libre Office is uh, so two aspects. Uh, we have to accept the uh, Libre Office. First is the product, the uh, lean, uh, free, libre, open, 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 uh, software, uh, open source software, uh, office productive suite, and the project uh, worldwide, open and passionate project uh, to develop. Uh, the product of Libre Office. Okay, uh, first I try to introduce the Libre Office product. Uh, Libre Office is a functional uh, 
uh, official productive suite. Uh, word processor, spreadsheet, uh, presentation, drawing, and database, and formula editor. And uh, this is a multi support multi-platform. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Linux, uh, uh, like OpenSUSE, and uh, Windows, Mac, and uh, some of unofficial support, like Solaris or NetBSD or something. And uh, we also provide the online version of LibreOffice Online and uh, Android Viewer and Impress Remote. Impress Remote is a sort of presentation um, remote controller, so running on the Android or iOS. And uh, this is, uh, of course, a free libre open source software under the uh, Mozilla Public License version 2. And uh, also, the important thing is that it's a multilingual. We can create our own language, uh, for example, the Japanese or Chinese or, uh, or even uh, some very specific, uh, specific uh, language or something. So, and we use a time-based release. Uh, major release, uh, uh, we have uh, major release every six months, and uh, minor release every, mostly every one month. And uh, yeah, last two versions are uh, supported. Uh, you remember, so developed is a, so, a version, developed version is like this, 5.4.2.2, but uh, please forget this last two, last point two. It does no mean about the end user. And uh, that's the, the first two is a major version. Don't call the version 5 or version 4 or version 6 or something. So version 5.4 is a major version. And uh, version 5.4.2 is a minor version. And uh, we have a so last latest two, two major versions are supported. Uh, uh, new bar, newer one is uh, called Fresh, and a uh, uh, later version is uh, still. Right now, so we are uh, 5.4 is uh, Fresh, and 5.3 is uh, still. And uh, we are under development 6.0, and we will release uh, early mm -hmm. next month, uh, latest year. And uh, this is uh, why we uh, offer the two versions of LibreOffice is uh, so fast, fresh is uh, so fastly unstable <laughs> sometimes. Of course, so this, this is the open source. We have to, uh, well, uh, we, we, want, uh, we would like to uh, know, fix lots of bugs uh, at that app, but uh, uh, if user use, use uh, so even we don't use a uh, software, uh, no one find the bug, and uh, of course it cannot be fixed. So we release a uh, fresh version. So to use uh, so uh, for um, open source enthusiasts like yours, and uh, <coughs> this uh, fresh should be the um, stable because a lot of bugs will be fixed, and uh, so everyone can move to the uh, fresh. And next version, uh, this version should uh, enter the steel. So in the steel stage, everyone can use this. So we provide the two versions. So about the uh, open source, uh, in deep for 42.3, uh, uh, it provided, level uh, 3.5.3 uh, is provided. I think uh, 5.4 will be backported, but at the time, uh, there isn't. I, I hope <laughs> they will, as uh, possible. And uh, so, of course, so Tumblr will, you can try the um, uh, level of 5.4 or master. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you can use this. And uh, <coughs> uh, of course, you may use uh, the uh, build on um, uh, version build on CDF infrastructure, so it provides the RPM package. And also the flat pack, uh, 
yeah, we provide the flat of version. And uh, so maybe you, all of you use uh, so writer in place and card, and uh, sometimes forget the draw. Draw is a uh, office office like uh, vector drawing software. Yeah. So some of you uh, you know the drawing software by provided by Microsoft Visio. Visio is a quite different culture, uh, have a different culture of the Microsoft Office one. But uh, so but the draw is a very um, similar to the other Office suite. Uh, I mean the so, uh, impress and uh, color uh, writer or something. So it's uh, very easy to and uh, <laughs> very easy to use to create the uh, uh, layer uh, graphics or something. So if you want to create uh, some uh, fixed layer document, I recommend to use the uh, draw instead of writer or Excel. <laughs> anyway, and uh, so it is not. Not so the important uh, function functionality, but uh, I want to say the libre robot. Uh, I, I want to mention the libre robot in Lighter. So we have a libre robot have of course a, have a programming functionality uh, like a macro um, use a basic or Python, but the <coughs> libre robot is uh, so quite different. Uh, this is a log language so for local language for educational purpose. So we can write down the uh, local program in the text and uh, execute it. Uh, it's a, it can be a running the local program and uh, create a, a pro, um, result like this. And of course, we will have lots of functionality, so I can, I can tell you all of this, and uh, yeah. An um, important thing is that uh, they will support an open document format. Maybe so this would be described deeply in next uh, time so by Franklin here. And so open document format is a LibreOffice primary document format. And uh, this is a simple, well document, human leader. Uh, document format. Yeah, human leader is very important, I think. Uh, this is a uh, uh, XML format, but uh, it's a very simple uh, structure, so <coughs> you can read easily. And uh, of course, so without different office, you can um, <coughs> manipulate ODF with a program called lots of library. Uh, uh, has been de developed, so you can use uh, uh, you can manipulate or uh, generate uh, some document uh, by yourself. And uh, this is standardized by uh, OASIS Open Document PC, and uh, this is a uh, uh, international standard ISO IC and uh, something. Uh, maybe <laughs> we, yeah, the, yeah, frankly we. Uh, Talk about this, and uh, another uh, important thing is uh, interoperability, not so compatibility. <laughs> so Microsoft is not a compatible software. Of the Microsoft Office uh, is not a compatible software. Of Microsoft Office, but the uh, important thing is the uh, interoperability. Interoperability. So someone edit uh, someone can uh, edit or read our document or uh, so vice versa or something. So <coughs> of course we support OXM or a traditional, a traditional Microsoft Office format. And this is very important functionality, I think. And uh, getting better rapidly, uh, getting better rapidly thanks for timeless release. Uh, because we use a timeless release so we can uh, someone find a bug, so we can fix the uh, next version or something, something, something. And uh, no other different project is a document revelation project. This is uh, so includes a ton of import filters for proprietary document formats, like uh, Apple Keynote, or uh, Coke Express, or uh, 
are the stage maker or something, something. Uh, not of, uh, and, uh, as, um, yeah. And uh, we, uh, so, have, uh, so, rebuilt online. Uh, this is online edit version of the, you can edit LibreOffice document via modern web driver, I mean uh, uh, Firefox or Chrome or uh, Chrome or Chromia or uh, Microsoft Edge or something. And uh, this is not the application but the runtime library, so you can include the Office editing, uh, Office document editing feature in your, uh, new, uh, your neat, uh, uh, great application. Okay, and uh, I want to tell some statistics. It's uh, quite geeky, but uh, I want to tell you. Uh, first, number nine, uh, oh, sorry, I just confused. Uh, nine million. <laughs> nine million. Nine million is a lie, of course. Uh, of course, so sometimes my, uh, all the, uh, some documents say uh, seven million, but uh, it stripped, uh, it is the uh, same things. I mean, the, some, uh, so, blank line and uh, comment is stripped almost 70, uh, seven million. And uh, so total line is uh, nine million, uh, mostly written in C++. And thousand, uh, 300. 300 is an uh, active commit a uh, year. It's a uh, committer, active committer, who, who are some, doing something. So uh, it's uh, around 300. It's uh, quite active and, uh, yeah. And uh, this is a commit uh, per year. Lots of commit <laughs> in, uh, mostly uh, uh, thousands, uh, hundred commit in a day, <laughs> mostly. And uh, next is, uh, so this is a fun bug, and uh, so already closed. Yeah, this is a seven years project I mentioned, and uh, it's a really awesome uh, uh, metrics. And 0 0.00 is uh, so defect, uh, this defect density of community scan. You know community scan? Community scan is a uh, so static source code um, analytic system to find out uh, some uh, software uh, <coughs> software density, uh, sorry, software defects uh, like the uh, 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 resource leak or something. So it is uh, so quite notable uh, uh, sorry, uh, statistics, so I want to know. So this kind of uh, number can be see the dashboard document foundation.org. It's a quite nice site, so please uh, join, uh, see. Then, uh, this is the product side. So if you have a question about the product side of the graphics, okay, I can move on. Okay, so I want to tell you that so LibreOffice itself as a worldwide uh, open personalized project. So we have a maybe, maybe, this is a, I don't know the actual value, but uh, maybe uh, 100 million users. Uh, I hope uh, lots of users use uh, uh, LibreOffice in the Linux desktop, I think. And uh, this is a seven years old still uh, baby project, but uh, seven years old, uh, seven years old project. And uh, someone knows uh, this is the son of OpenOffice.org. <laughs> yeah, this is a ten years project, but uh, already dead. And uh, uh, Elder Brother Apache Open Office. Apache Open Office uh, is uh, so. Ah, uh, no, no, I, I can't tell you. No, I'll tell you open, open, open. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so, I, we choose the, so, mixing more culture. So, in the open, openoffice.org era, we have, uh, so, umbrella company named Sun Microsystem. But, uh, yeah, of course, so, it, it, uh, LibreOffice is a consumer product. It's uh, quite different from the, uh, distrib Linux distribution or something. Uh, Linux distribution, so they have an umbrella company. It's a very good uh, culture, I think. But uh, 
uh, about the, mm, the consumer product, lots of people want to join the same uh, uh, position. So, not uh, providing an umbrella, but providing a mixing bowl, and then everyone into the, this mixing bowl. This is our culture. Europe has a rich culture, so it's very important, I think. So this culture supported by the Document Foundation thanks for the, uh, this uh, awesome event, the supporter. And, uh, and uh, this uh, I already mentioned before, so I cannot tell you. But the important thing is that they supported our travel cost. Understand? <laughs> and uh, so, so the, TF is a back, 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 uh, so background of the LibreOffice project. But LibreOffice is uh, developed by the Document Foundation, if no. Of course, they don't. So they have, not, uh, they have uh, employed the full-time development, developers, or full-time testers, or uh, UI help translators. So instead, they provide the mixing bowl itself. Uh, I mean, the, so for example, they didn't uh, employ the full time developers. Instead, they um, uh, employ the uh, uh, support mentor to develop the libre office itself. And uh, they employ the QA team. QA team doesn't do the test, but handle the bug triage as such kind of the important and but, uh, sometimes boring <laughs> uh, very, but important uh, tasks about the QA. And uh, uh, UI UX team or infra infrastructure team that they uh, employ. So I mean the, this, they provide a mixing board. So who so who uh, can <laughs> and enter the, dive into the mixing bowl. Everyone can do it. So for example, the employee of the liberal office support vendors, or next distributor, or system integrator, they use the liberal office inside their system or something. And of course, individual, like you. You can join. So what you can do is, Marketing, coding, debugging, documentation, translation, quality assurance. <laughs> yeah, and uh, become a the document foundation member. <laughs> okay? Join us. So uh, they we sell the pop different shots, free office three, fun project, fast with people. This is not your office. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I <laughs> I have only two minutes, so I Fast, uh, fast, fastly. So, current fresh version 5.4. So, this is a not so big leap about the uh, previous version. So, this, but uh, some enterprise ready functionality like uh, document signing or something. And, uh, uh, yeah, I hope 5.4 will backport it to leap or point two. Uh, Okay. And, uh, upcoming 6.0. Yeah, we changed the version 5.x to 6.x. It's a giant leap. I don't know. This is the uh, uh, next year early uh, we release, but uh, yeah. We say 3.0 is a code refactoring phase, and 4.0x is a improvement functionality performance or performance phase, and 5.x is an improved user experience. But I don't know about the six point zero X. So we have to discuss about the whole which we focus uh, in the six point X era. And uh, so conclusion, so LibreOffice is a full functional or full feature open source Office C uh, six is open source. And the document foundation support LibreOffice uh, provides the mixing hole. So everyone can dive into the mixing bowl. So please join us uh, free office three and project fantastic people. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Ah, uh. oh, yeah.
So committing to the page with some numbers like 9 million 300, the page. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So something switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, from it's not here. This bit? Okay. Uh, my question is, 300 active commuters per year, does it, this mean uh, every year we got 300 new commuters or we are on a stable number every uh, year? So, of course this is not stable, but uh, so if new comma is increased, of course, but uh, so see, uh, hundreds, uh, so some, for example, the 10% of the 300 is a uh, uh, usual work, uh, develop and develop as a usual work, and uh, someone just fixed, uh, just one bug or uh, fixed the weight issue or something. So this is, the weight is a little different for each people, but uh, 300, someone uh, commit uh, 300 in uh, per year. You make sense? Um, so, your answer sounds like every year we have the newcomer and uh, someone from uh, yeah, the community. So, so, of course, so, um, I think so. Number of the newcomer is uh, so mostly stable. So, sometimes people just want to fix their. Uh, important bug they have to fix. So just fix bug and leave the project or something. So this can be. So, but uh, um, I think the, this number is almost stable. So, so several years. You understand? So I yeah, yeah, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Frankly, please follow. <laughs> <laughs> the, if, uh, if, if, uh, uh, this is 300 uh, active commuters per year. That means uh, uh, during these seven years, an uh, average number of active commuter. Okay, active commuter maybe uh, they commit more than uh, three, five, or ten pages in this year. Okay, and. Uh, of course, uh, you say not not newcomers in three hundred newcomer three hundred three hundred newcomer is a terrible number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but but usually uh, those who are not uh, active this year does not mean they leave the community. Maybe they just this year they didn't provide so many patches. But this means uh, active commuters in the office is. Uh, around this, and that we know that it's increasing, but we say active commuters is stably increased. Okay, any other question? Maybe I can uh, uh, answer one. Okay. Still have a. No? Okay, so thank you for uh, listening. I talk. Thanks.